everybody back again. Cool. Last Outrider here. Let's start working on part two of what the hell is a bomb squig, okay? A short fuse. Every orc worth his chopper knows the snake bite runt herds breed the best squigs. Tank busters looking to cobble together a batch of bomb squigs will therefore make the snake bite breeding pins their first stop. Fistfuls of teeth are exchanged for the meanest, fastest, fucking asshole squigs they can find. Notorious breeds such as the yellow, f yellow spotted. Face Gnasher, the Great Fang Gob, or the infamous Leapin' Death, are especially popular. Once the <coughs> <coughs> thank you. Once the chosen squigs have been wrestled from their dung spattered pins and beaten senseless. With a rich, they are unceremoniously stuffed into sacks and dragged off to the mech boys to get bombed. <laughs> Though mech boys prefer tinkering with things less than inclined to bite their faces off, most can be persuaded to strap a few squigs up with a bomb or two. Indeed, some mechs relish this chance to test more unpredictable of their explosive devices from a the theoretically safe distance. A mech in a hurry may simply cram a squig's gob with sticks of dynamite <laughs> trying tying more explosives to its fleshy hide before jamming fuses into everything in any hole it can find and declaring the job well done. However, bomb squigs have been seen taking to the field strapped with everything from tank buster bombs and pressure mines to directionally explosive cranial transplants. Imperial post-action reports even claim that the El Treskia breach disaster began with a single mad-eyed bomb squig charging into the mist of the Corsican 3rd Artillery with a fletched vortex grenade clamped firmly beneath its teeth. <laughs> Does that sound crazy enough for you? It should, because now we're going to go on to indiscriminate carnage. By the time they are dragged onto the battlefield, bomb squigs will be mad with fury, straining to be set loose. The moment they slip the leash, the squigs will skitter off across the battlefield after the nearest vehicular prey they can find. The best bomb squigs have undergone rudimentary training to hunt enemy tanks, chasing through the tribe's encampment after a looted wagon to snatch ju juicy snotling rewards off its back bumper. Even this is no guarantee that a bomb squig will head in the right direction. For in the noise and chaos of the battlefield, one large, fast-moving vehicle looks very much the same as any other. The bomb squig will hurl itself, hurl itself madly against the hull of its chosen victim, promptly exploding with a thunderous blast, more than capable of flipping even a Lehman Russ battle tank onto its roof. Of course... The same fate awaits any truck or battle wagon singled out by these short-sighted, homicidal little fuckwits. Yet, this is of little concern to the tank busters. After all, the slight 
of a bunch of jumped up knobs having their prize ride blown the shit up from under them by a bounding bomb squig is worth a few teeth in its own right. There you go. You now know just about everything there is to know about a bomb squig. So until next time, bye.